The N64 is known for being bad with game texturing, though most games looked awful texture-wise. Looks blurry and ugh, you know? Alright, let's head on into the previous floor of Grunty's Lair to open the next level. And uh, how long do you reckon we should uh, do our first recordings? Uh, maybe another hour or so. Oh, right, no, I was thinking ahead. Another hour or so, okay. I, I, really got, hungry. I got really confused then because uh, I, 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 I was thinking further ahead. When I that, cause that grunty face is basically a thing that pops up so you can get another jigsaw piece. Um, right. you, I realized you get that in the next level. I got, I had my wires crossed. I know, John, it's your favorite level. Uh, oh, I actually, that. I actually do generally love this level, but you need to get used to the water controls, otherwise you will fucking hate it. Case in point, John here, who yeah. uh, had fun. But first, before we go to that level, let's go down this passageway. Because, uh, that, there's an, you bastard! It's just waiting for me, go and surprise, motherfucker. But there we go, there we go, we activated another magic cauldron. Mm. Oh, I see. So, uh, basically I'm trying to find them as we go along. I only really went in there for the uh, mumbo token, though. I didn't really care about the cauldron. The cauldron's just a nice little bonus. You can tra transport, teleport even. Yeah, we haven't found one the same color as that yet, so it'll be some time. But uh, you know, as time goes on, it'll be a nice little shortcut, especially when we reload save files, because um, the way this game sort of works is uh, when you reload a save file, you start at the entrance of the castle. And you have to work your way back oh, up, yeah. so that will speed up, you know, collecting in that regard. And I believe, if I jump up here, there we go. I almost forgot about that, I only noticed it because the cutscene earlier showed it. Uh, what do you reckon, should we go up there first, or go through the level? Um, go up there maybe. Okie doke. Monsters chase you, they're a hounding! Then you'll get a grunty pounding. Ew. 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 Um. No. I need an adult. <laughs> I need more than an adult. I need the fucking cops. <laughs> <laughs> Christ on a bike. Uh, speaking of Wait, being did disgusted. Did she actually? Did she change over her form yet? A form? Yeah, she's gonna steal the life form or whatnot. Oh no 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 no! That only ever happens if we get game over. Oh, I, will... I thought. I'll show it off actually when we're done with this uh, recording session because it also plays if you click quit game. So uh, I will oh. show that off. Grunty wears oh, a weird. reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. I love these factoids. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Knacker. Big Knacker? My sister sings in her own band. Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. <laughs> They're awful. Is that all of them? I... Yeah, okay, she's just repeating now. So yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah. I just realised they can relax. John, you just realised you can relax? What?! <laughs> no, I just realised we're not live streaming, are we? No, why would you uh. even... We're, we're just recording. Um, you be relaxed anyway. We don't need to be all on <laughs> on edge. We're only we're <laughs> only recording on fucking videos for YouTube. I mean, good God! And if we say anything dodgy, I can edit it out. I have editing powers. True. Don't make a point to say things dodgy, please. I don't want to do more work. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like keeping my workload uh, quite normal. But yeah, we've opened up another level as well. So uh, we're opening up all the stages today, but uh, if we're if we're ending off in about an hour or so, we won't be going to that level in this session. Okay. Uh, which is a shame because I love that stage, but uh, you know. What's the haunted level? Then? Ooh, I think that's the second half of the game around that point. I really want to see that. It's that's a good level actually. I think you will love it. I honestly think you'll love it. That's what I wanted to get to, and then I found I was like way on. Yeah, and considering the rate you were playing out in your uh, stream, uh. you were never going to get there. 
<laughs> well, you were, but it would have taken you hours upon hours upon hours. I'd still think it's about maybe three or four hours out from now on my on this place, oh, but that's a yeah. long time. Well, again, it's close to the endish. I can't tell you when exactly because I'm not entirely sure how far through. Because, like, I I I mostly play this game on muscle memory now. So if you were to ask me what level comes before what, I couldn't tell you. You know. But I know what I'm doing if I'm playing. It's one of those sort of situations. They were a pain as well. Yeah, I mean, once you know how to deal with them, they can be all right. But again, starting off they're tricky because you need to. You basically need a master doing this attack to get by. Yeah. So basically, every time they come out of the wall, just jump, attack, and uh, they'll just melt basically like so. See? But they are a pain in the ass, and they can catch you off guard a lot, as John knows too well. <laughs> I do. Uh, I'm actually, I got past all this and I got down to a big metal tuna. The metal tuna? Yeah. Metal tuna? You, <laughs> mean, you, metal mean tuna. you mean Clanker, the giant metal yeah. shark thing? Metal tuna, I like that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm using that, that's cool. That's amazing. Um, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. yeah. You're not just a social media guy for us, we are also... Oh, well, no, I obviously. do stuff. I yeah, mean. you do stuff. Well, of course you do stuff, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a collaboration, now would it? <laughs> no, uh, that's true. There he is. Yeah, here's the big massive tuna. Plank, uh, Let me just get on my uh, social thingy majiggy and uh, chat to the old peeps. Hmm. Friends want to know what we're doing. Oh, right, I was wondering, because like, you don't have to do the social media stuff, you know, as we're live streaming, but not live streaming, as well, we're live recording. Not live. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, for Clanker there, we do need to uh, basically uncouple him, because he's basically stuck. And uh, despite how terrifying he looks, he's actually a friendly fellow. So uh, let's go give this fellow a nice helping hand, shall we? Actually, there's something. John, we're on Discord, right? Yep, we are. Uh, oh, we on Discord. Oh, yeah, we one. <laughs> we should probably move into a private channel in case someone joins. I just realized because we're recording. Um, oh, that's less likely to happen on there. There's only really Fred, but. Yeah, but you know. That'd be annoying if he pops in. It's just like, oh shit, now I need to figure out some way to make this not seem stilted. Uh, camera! Camera, do you mind getting. I told him we're recording anyway. Okay. Yeah, he said, let him know and it'll pop in. Okay, good to know. Alright, so as you can tell, I'm about to drown. But, I did do what we need to do. We basically need to go through that key three times in order to lift Clanker up. Right? Right. So, fortunately, there's a fish called uh, Gloop um, nearby us. Uh, named after the bubbles he lifts out. And what we need to do is basically swim into the bubbles. And that will refill our air. Oh, okay. Which... Thank God, because uh, otherwise we'd have no fucking hope in hell. Uh, we'll be dead. We'll be done. Banjo will be dead. Which is a horrifying image, considering he practically is. The franchise hasn't had a game since 2008. And not many people like you never that know. game. Because, uh... Did you, have you, you, do you know about the controversy surrounding Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? Uh, John? I don't. Well, basically, uh, it plays completely nothing like the first two games, so it, it's not a platformer like these, this game is. Okay. It's basically a building simul- a, a car vehicle building simulation with mini games all over the place. Where you still oh, yeah. need to explore the worlds and stuff, but it's vehicle focused. So it kind of it's it's completely it can, I guess against the spirit of Banjo, you know the tr the original two games. Right. So. You know, were they going for something like Crash Team Racing or something? No, they. I think they were just trying their own thing because when they were recording, not recording, when they were making that game, it was they were saying around the time like no one buys platformers, platformers are a waste of time, stuff like that. So, because uh, that's what the general public sort of believed, really. Platformers were always in. Right, sorry, I'm back. 
Just had a bit of an interruption. Uh, Alright, what, what, what did I say? When uh, I died? <laughs> no, the platformers. Yeah, so at the time, like, the mod... It, wa it wasn't so much gamers, because gamers wanted platformers still. But it came after a generation on PS2 where platformers flooded the market to a point that people got sick of them. So I'm guessing the general idea was platformers are dated, no one wants platform games. You know? Which is a bloody stupid thing to... Th like, anybody who says that a game genre can be dated, they're idiots. <laughs> uh, that, that, it's like, you can say you don't like a specific genre, you know, you can say you don't like a platformer, but to say the genre itself is dated, no, that's just silly. As you can tell, I'm a little tilted by a couple, by a bunch of reviews from Ukulele, like, I'll admit the game has its problems. In uh, fact, it is very much in the spirit of, you know, I these old the platformers. Yeah, the the problems with the game are mostly r surrounding um, the design decisions, where it's very... How do I put it? It's not very modern, if you get me, you know? So there's a lot of uh, old-school style design decisions here and there, which a lot of people hated, which... I don't know. I, for me, that seemed that was the point of the game, so it, it didn't. I didn't consider that a negative myself. The game does have its problems, and maybe we'll get to a playthrough of that one day. Cause, but I generally love ukulele, and uh, I don't know. A lot of the hate was unwarranted. I find with that one. There you go. Yeah, and there you go. I'm probably gonna have like a million people in the comments disagreeing with me or something. But uh, you know, everyone has opinions to each own, I suppose. Alright, anyway, before... I sort of have a pattern when I'm playing through this this world, so I tend to go through these uh, underwater pipes in a certain... like, in a clockwise motion. Uh, yeah. That way I know that I've gone through every single section. So if you notice, I've been basically handling this in layers. So I go to the bottom layer, the middle layer, and then I'm going to the top layer, you know? I just get where I go, really. Yeah, it, well, that's another... you know, it's... it's they're all you know, ideal way to play the game. Like, that's the genius of this game type. You know, it's really... This guy keeps killing me. They're, it's really down to uh, ha how you want to play, really, you know? It's like, I can't go to someone on YouTube and say, you're playing it wrong! Because there's no, the game's about exploring. I mean, try. I, I mean, I guess I could try, yeah, but... <laughs> that's the thing. The game's about exploring. There's no real way to play it wrong, you know? I mean, there's ways to play it not good, <laughs> but that's another thing entirely, you know? Yeah. But uh, I guess that can apply for most games, really. Alright, anyway, moving on. But then again, I, I've known to become quite... Cr I, I get quite critical with certain uh, games anyway when I see some people demo them. Like, for some reason, you know when uh, new games coming out and there's demos of these new games, right? Yeah. For some reason, everyone who plays the games are terrible in their demonstrations, and I'm just like, why do you hire people who don't know how to play the game to demo the game? It, it drives me mad. It's less of an issue nervous. these days. All right, maybe. But it's less of an issue these days, um, as it used to be. But even these days, sometimes yeah. you'll see it, like, the, you know, the new Spyro remasters coming out. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, most of the gameplay I've seen from that is terrible because the people who clearly don't know what they're doing. I, except I think, that one guy. Yeah, except that one guy was a, a Spyro fan. And I think I think he's part of Rooster Teeth. So, and I think he was like the only person I've seen play the remaster trilogy like an actual Spyro game. And it, it's it, it, I'm just like, thank you, finally. <laughs> I mean, that's an issue I always come across when I see people playing Sonic games and demoing them as well. But I can, I can sort of say it's a bit less of a trouble with Sonic games because they are admittedly harder to get into if you're not into that sort of game, you know? Yeah. Like, because you need to have a certain... I guess I guess you need not so much skills because that makes me sound high and mighty, but I guess you need to be able to adapt to a certain gameplay style, I suppose, in a way, to be able to properly get into a Sonic game easily. You know? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going off what I've, I've heard people on forums say in regards to that. Because like, to me, Sonic games have always been quite easy to play, you know? Probably helps. I still have trouble now and again. 
Yeah, well, I've seen you playing Sonic Mania, and uh, that hurt me inside. <laughs> that hurt me well, inside watching you play that. Um, I think you'd be more suited to the 3D Sonics, to be honest, at least with some of them. You know? Yeah. I don't know. We'll I need see. to play Generations again. Yes, you do. Generations is fun. Need to finish it. I'm surprised you haven't finished eight years, it. Like, ten years, I'm I know. It. Well, it's not eight years. It's, only, it's not that old, John. Actually, wait. Yeah. It, came out, it came out 2012. Oh, God. It's Generations. Oh, God. I remember when I was coming home from college, I used to play around. Oh, we were in. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like yeah. this. Wait, at the same time, Duke Nukem came out forever. <sighs> oh, I don't like this. I feel. Oh, no. Wait, when did Sonic no, Unleashed no, come out then? <laughs> See, Sonic 06 came out in 2006. Oh no, Sonic Unleashed is 10 years old. Oh my god, I don't like this. John, can we not age? Can we go back? Yeah, please, that's... Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> uh. I mean, this game is 20 years old. This came out in 1998. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. I, I can feel the grey hair. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother looking at how old like some of my Mega Drive games I used to play are. Oh, a lot. They are very old. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go inside his fins up here first, because you can actually enter this whale. And this is where half is half the level is actually inside this creature here, this beastie. But uh, I'm gonna enter him last first. I'm gonna pop up here. Come on, game. There we go. Beautiful. Uh. I can see a lot of people missing out on that a couple of times because uh, some of the some of these things might be a bit more cryptic. Like going inside him, you may not expect you'd be able to, you know? Yeah. Uh. Because logically, you'll think, hey, you go inside a whale, you're gonna die. He has digestive systems in there. Especially considering this way is metal. Yeah, but he, he is meant to be a waste disposal thing. That's his entire point of being here. Mm. So you know, he's gonna have some he's gonna have something strong in there to digest metal. <laughs> True. I'm thinking, I think there is like one person that on on the face of the earth who can digest metal normally on that you know themselves, so I don't know. Because I remember reading about that online, that there's a guy who eats metal, and I think he's fucking nuts, for one thing. Because that cannot be good for your insides. How do you even get it to a small enough amount to actually eat it? Because you can't chew metal. Swallow it? I don't know. Unless you're Jaws, you know? <laughs> From James <True>. Bond. <laughs> That's the only way I can see you possibly being able to eat metal, is if you're Jaws. Oh. <laughs> E -gum -gum. All right, we're making uh, we're making headroom on this level, though. We're getting close to the end of it, I think. I mean, this is oh. where I got to. This is where you got to. Yep. Well, I so got inside him, but uh, giggity. That's yeah, whatever. We're, we're about halfway done, so it won't be too much longer until we're done with the stage. So uh, I think uh, it's time to head inside and uh, explore the innards of the beast. That sounds more. That sounds more badass than it really is. You've done it. <laughs> Explore the innards of the dreaded beast. Yeah. Kind of like a God of War. God of War? Not a God of War. Gears of War. I was about to say God of War. Actually, I do think Wait, you go yeah. inside a creature in God of War, but you don't do? quote me. No, no. God of War. Hmm. Alright, Gears of War. I'm still thinking of. But yeah. Actually, yeah, you do in uh, spoilers. I'm not going to say because you haven't played any of the God of Wars all the way through, have you? I finished the first two. Oh, all right. So, I think I don't it's, think in, it's in those. It's in the third one, I think. Yeah, um, I haven't played that one. You go inside a creature. I, if I'm remembering correctly, I could be completely misremembering and thinking of something else, which you know, it's entirely possible. It's been years since I played the God of War games, except for the new PS4 game, which I still haven't beaten. Boy, and I need to get to that. Boy, <laughs> that's still like the greatest thing. Anyway, for this part here, so as you can probably guess, because it caught the music when you're underwater is terrifying. Um, as you can probably guess, you just go through the rings. 
Yeah, easy enough. Trouble with that. Oh, it's easy enough if once you master the controls, I suppose. Yes, like it has this intense like, like psycho music when you're, you're under going the water. You're going to die. Yeah, it's creepy as hell. I don't know why they did that. Like, I know it's a water level, and water levels are terrifying, but good God! You know? There's limits, man! I just expect the Halloween music to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Michael Myers come out of nowhere. It's your time, <laughs> Banjo. Go, uh huh? Ah, lordy. Alright, uh, we are not quite done in this room yet. Um, I'm trying to remember what location we go to next. Uh, because I, I always get confused at this point because there's a flight pad as you can see right below. Oh, I can yeah. never remember if I meant to go straight up or across that there. way. That way, actually, there is a gold feather there, so maybe that's what you're all right. Which is good because uh, if if you're correct, that's where we're getting the next power up. If I can get on the fucking platform! There we go. <laughs> we. Da, da, da. They really like the French horns in the uh, um. compositions of this music. Like, the instrument being used is quite clearly like a French horn. It's like. You know? I think it's a French horn. Anyway. Don't you have French horns much, do you? Uh, I think Grand Coco loves the things. Like, every game he's composed has a French one in it somewhere, so. There we go. It's time to go and uh, have our invulnerability power up. Or, as I like to call it, the Super Banjo form. Because I like Super Forms and more games need Super Forms. I don't know why the concept of Super Forms just appeals to me, you know? Yeah, I get it. But, uh. Yeah, basically you hold on right trigger, you press the left stick to the right, and uh, we go. It's kind of weird how, um, like, most of the controls have been basically modernized for the Xbox controller. Except for that move, which uses the, C the exact same button combination as the N64. Because the N64 used the C buttons for uh, all their moves. Which, if you equate it to a modern controller, that's an analog stick, the right stick, you know? So it's kind of weird, right. this one move uses the old way of uh, controlling, you know? They probably ran out of buttons, I'm guessing. But there we go. Beautiful. And with that, I need to go down two areas by, uh, by this geezer's gills. Ah. So yeah, we're almost done. We are almost done, John. Fair than I got, almost. Well, uh, you say almost. I don't think we. I think I got more collectibles than you right now when you played. Yeah. Uh. So. All right, we got one more Jinjo left to collect. Where is that bastard? Uh. I do know, thankfully. I ju it just. I was wondering then because I had to think to myself like, oh shit. Well, look at me. Uh, I remember where he is. It's somewhere I missed. Uh, I'll go. I'll go back to pick him up. Oops. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going out here now, and I think it's on this side. Uh, is it on this side? No, it's on the other side. All right. Basically, we missed one one level of thing. We, we were meant to jump up there, and you know how I climbed up? Yeah. I was meant to climb up that side as well, which I forgot. So there we go. You sure? Yep, I am sure. I am as sure as a cucumber. I don't see anything up there. Ah, uh, yes. That's where the game gets you, right? He's hiding inside the pipe. Oh. See that extra little pipe that's dangling off from, you know, it slides down and you see that little extra bit oh. there? That's where he is. Okay, the thing's dead, thank God for that. Wee! I don't know why as well, like the particle effects that Banjo uses, I've always been, like, impressed by them. So there we go, go in here, and... Oh, yeah, right. Look at that. Alright, there's eggs in there, but I don't want to go in there because uh, I want to get these. I want to get these beauties. And plus, I think I might be full on eggs. I'm not sure. Whoop. Uh, we'll find out now. I think there's a honeycomb piece in here. Hey, there we go. I've got more health. Delicious. Cool little Delicious. animation. Delicious. 
Yeah, I do like it. It's like, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I was going with my train of thought, but... Uh, here's the awkward one. I hate doing this one because you have to be quite precise with the aiming. Mm. I, always, I just find the aiming a little imprecise on Banjo. Like, I think he aims slightly to the left of where I'm looking. You know? So there he goes. Mm -hmm. Go on this one. And there's a mumbo token. And let's go to the break the other tooth because his other tooth is bad too. And once we've done this, that will be a jiggy. And I think... I think... Level done. If we're lucky. If I didn't miss any notes, that'll be level done. So then we can uh, go to the Winchester and wait for this to blow over. Ah, yes. I have a nice cold pint. Wait for this all to blow over. Ah. Uh, you know, if we ever do a playthrough like Dead Rising, half the, half the playthrough mm -hmm. will just be Shaun of the Dead jokes. <laughs> Huh? It's a classic movie, I love it. Alright, so that's all of the jiggies. Please say I didn't miss any notes. It's the worst feeling when you're missing one note and you have to scour the entire level again for it. Yes, we got them all! Level a complete today! And now I have to leave the fucking place. So yeah, beautiful. What's for the tentacles? Uh... I guess maybe the kind you know the the little dangly thing we have at the back of our our mouths. Yeah. I guess maybe they're like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a scientist or the level designer. Actually, who was the level designer of this game? Because I, I I know most of the team members from well not most I know a couple of the team members of Banjo. Like Steve Mails, the uh, the was the character designer and stuff like that, and Grant Kirkpope did the. Or well, was it Greg Mails that was the level character designer? I forget. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that level done. So let's just get out of here and skedaddle. So what say you? Shall we call it a session, or shall we move on to the next stage? I'll leave that up to you, John. No, uh, can move on to the next one. Okay. But pause first, because I'm going to grab a snack. Right, Olin. Uh, well, as soon as we get out of here, then no will pause. And uh, I'll actually uh, stop the recording anyway, so we, just in case we lose our stuff. So let's save, uh, let's, let's save our recordings in a minute. Oh, me too, you mean? Yeah, because it'll, it'll be easier then to restart, and because we don't want to have all the progress disappear, you know, in case uh. something breaks. It's I've had it happen before. I don't want it to happen again, you know? So, every time I have a break, I just make it a point to, to save the recordings. So, there we go. Beautiful. So, with that, right. ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and we shall see you fairly soon. Indeed.